Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And if this is your first time checking me out, make sure to hit that subscribe button to get the latest and greatest on tech videos. So today is all about configuring your Dell XPS 13 9360 to Pixie Boot. Now, in the past, I used to image these machines using a bootable flash drive. I got kind of tired of doing that. I wanted to use Pixie Boot because that's an awesome way to deploy your image over the network, right? Um, I tried even using a 3.0 USB adapter, never got that to work. And I said to myself, how about using the Type C to Ethernet adapter? That worked flawlessly. It just worked. I wasn't a, I didn't have to update MDT drivers or SCCM drivers. It just worked. But there's a couple of things that you need to do within the BIOS. So let's get started. So what you're going to do is press F2 to get inside BIOS. Don't freak out. You know, I just took a screenshot within the Dell Octoplex 7460 all-in-one BIOS because this is the same thing. Uh, and then once you're inside BIOS, you want to click on System Configuration and locate Thunderbolt Adapter Configuration. By default, these three guys are unchecked. So check all three of them. Your technology support, adapter pre-boot modules, and your adapter boot support, and click apply. Now, the next thing that we need to do is get inside general, advanced boot options, and enable uh, enable unified network stacks. Just enable that guy, apply it, and then exit. Now, this is the adapter. Type C to Ethernet. I plugged it in. You guys can see it's lit up. Uh, I think I purchased this in B&H for maybe five to 10 bucks. Pretty good one. I will place the link at the bottom on the one that I used. And uh, I press F12. And once you press F12, you're going to see your unified boot and you're going to see the USB NIC IPv4 and the IPv6. Now, the only way that you're going to see these two options is if you enable that stack feature. Okay. You pick your, you pick your poison. For me, it was IPv4. And you're going to see this. And it's going to start the Pixie over that IPv4 protocol. And bingo, it located my WDS boot manager within my 9 to 5 network. And it gives you the client IP, server IP, server name, hit enter to boot. And it's going to start booting off the WDS. And then for me, I have it kind of locked down. I have to log in as an administrator to continue the deployment. Hopefully you guys have it this way because if not, your custom settings, uh, your custom settings.ini file is plain text. I, I don't, it's not best practice to have your password inside that text file. And again, this is a side profile with the adapter uh, and the deployment uh, ready for me to add my credentials. And that's it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of how to pixie boot with the XPS 13 using the type C. I mean, this is the best way to do it. I was so sick and tired of using the flash drive uh, because I had a bunch of these in stock. I mean, I think I had maybe five to six of them that came uh, to my office back to back and I needed to get these guys up and running. I didn't want to create six flash drives. I just want to do everything on the network. So once I purchased six adapters, which were extremely cheap, I plugged them in and I was in and out quick. Uh, deployment time took between, with all the applications and Windows updates, I said 20 to 25 minutes. And that wasn't that bad. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. Uh, if you have other ways of how you deploy your image with the XPS 13s, leave them at the bottom. I would love to hear from you guys. Uh, don't forget about hitting that like button and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.